the two options that we've kicked around, and I, I know which direction I lean on, be, lean in because I think we have a better shot at getting something. We could use the money to put in a playground at Hurley. You know, whatever that looks like. We could also use the money to um, repave and put some sense around the parking at Hurley and also make it ADA compliant. Um, which, as I think everyone on this committee knows, Hurley Heat is about as far from uh, Americans with Disabilities compliant as you can possibly get. The, the bathrooms and kitchen are not handicap accessible without assistance. There's no handicap accessibility to the parking. Um, you know, there's no pathway from the parking to the pavilion. Um, I don't think you can really make it handicap accessible so you can watch a game on a sideline, but you can at least make the park accessible so somebody could watch from afar. Um, and the grant would cover that, that we could apply for. I don't know that we're gonna get a yes on either of them. Um, I know which one I think is probably gonna be more competitive. I'm, I'm curious what you guys reaction is. Which one's more competitive, John? You want my opinion? Yes, please. ADA is absolutely going to be more competitive. Uh, a, a playground is uh, ho hum. They're going to say, "Why haven't you done that before?" Um, as much as the playground is so important there, because for those of us who have had kids at those at those games with little kids, I didn't face this as much because I didn't have a big age range. But when you've got a high school player playing soccer and a four year old, the kids picking dirt in the infield of the one of the two baseball diamonds more often than than not um or 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 you know building sandcastles on the pitcher's mound which is not a good thing for the pitcher's mound um so it's a real problem that we don't have anything for for kids to do that keeps them out of trouble um that being said i just don't think a playground is gonna 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 get traction there were 20 there will be 20 awards um the range in grant will probably be from 50,000 to a couple hundred thousand is my guess. Um, and I just think, you know, ADA in, in this day and age, and again, shame on us for it not being ADA compliant already, but I, I just think that's going to have more legs. Other, other questions? Do you need to do one bathroom that could be handicapped? I think you I think you fix what you've got. It can you know, I think it's a bathroom, Carol, as much as it's access to the bathrooms. Um, you get there from the parking lot. The the door we would it, it would probably be a smart idea to make the doorway to probably the 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 bathroom on the far left, which has the defibrillator, yeah. uh, a little wider, so that a wheelchair could get in there. I don't think they're wide enough for a wheelchair right now. I'm I'm sure they're not. Um, but you need a pathway from the parking lot. The parking lot, we all know the parking lot is, it's the wild west. Um, during soccer season, when there's baseball, soccer, or even baseball season, there's high school ending or middle school ending, little league starting. Um, you've got so much going on. There are school buses blocking sight lines. Um, there are potholes all over the place. It, it's, it's kind of a disaster. Um, and now with softball added to it, that's even more, you know, and I just think that ADA compliance with a structured parking, um, you know, where you've got lines and people know where to park rather than I'm just going to start a trend today. And that trend is going to be different than the parking trend that was a week ago um, because someone from out of, town, out of town decided to park parallel to the fence as opposed to perpendicular to the fence. It's just... I don't know, Wayne, you, you are down there more than anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> what Especially, do you think? I mean, at what one time, I mean, we had a game. Haley had a game, a softball game, and then the adults were there having a game. I mean, the cars were, they were three deep people parking in back of each other in the parking lot. And they were probably halfway, halfway down to the big diamond up on the road parked yet. I mean, it's definitely, I think, 
I think fix what you got down there first. Yeah. Um, you know, you could make. I don't know how wide we can go with the parking lot, though. Well, you could go up to the fence. I don't know. Why not? Oh, because environmental the, stuff. The, well, no, that and the state owns it. When I was when we met with that guy down there the last week or whatever it was, me and Keith were talking. The town, I don't know the parking lot part of it, I don't know, but the the way Keith was explaining it, the road going in there, that's what the town owns. The grass the town doesn't own towards the river. Really? Yeah, because which makes sense when the the town gave it to the state or took it back from the state, whatever you want to call it back then. They didn't want to go right to the bank because if the bank eroded, the town would be liable to fix it. Now that the state owns that 10 feet of grass, if the bank erodes, it's not on the town. It's on the state to fix it. So does I don't the know. Have, does the state have to fix it or it's just on them to fix if they choose to? Right. If they choose to. It, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's nobody can come after the town and bother the town or the rec department to fix a washout against right. that bank. But I don't know. I'd have to ask Keith or we'll look at the maps or whatever. So I don't know if the parking lot, if the town land actually goes all the way to the fence where everybody parks, where it opens up. Right. And even if it didn't, we could put something there to show, to delineate where people are supposed to be parking. Right. I mean, we and just paint white lines on the ground. Well, yeah, but but again, for you know, we've all been there when because of the because of the, the lack of, of any level playing field, you've got water sitting there, so that eliminates some parking places because no one's gonna want to park in the middle of a puddle. I, I just I just think that you and, and to make it a safer place for for, for people to, to, to park because some kids gonna get hurt. They're gonna run after something and the bus is going to block a sight line and it's not going to be a, a good ending. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I, definitely. I you. you know, yeah, I agree with you. The parking lot needs to be fixed. So that's what I'm going to suggest Shelly. Cause you asked, um, I, I, I think that fixing the parking lot making it a safer parking lot and then making it handicap accessible with designated handicap parking spaces, according to the, to the mass general law um, and then putting a pathway to the, to the bathrooms and the, and the kitchen um, with a ramp up to it. I, I, I just think that that is a better shot at, at winning than a, a uh, you know, a, 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 play, yeah. a playground. I, I totally agree with you. I think that the, I, I think that to make it handicap accessible and, and to incorporate um, paving where people park is, is, a, is a great idea. Um, this is a different grant than the other grant that we were talking about as far as updating the Wesley Elementary School playground. Is that accurate? Or totally just different, yes. Okay, cool. Totally different. Perfect. Um, so do we want to recommend as a group does anyone is does anyone have a different set of, um, opinion? Because you know, speak up. I don't care, but we need to bring it to the select board tomorrow for our recommendation, and they'll vote our recommendation. It needs to be done. I mean, with the bargain lot. Oh yeah. yeah. And you, me and Jake. What about you guys? Um, well, I'm just wondering, so we're sure that you can use this grant for paving um, purposes. Okay. Because yeah, I, I, okay, because I think I had a conversation with Brian where he was unsure if you, he kind of felt that you couldn't and that that's why he was leaning more towards the playground. But as long as you know that that's what we can use it for, then I, I would agree that I think you fix what we have and we make it look nice and maybe the playground something that's like a five to seven year play. I'll confirm that with him tomorrow. But when I was in, I think you were there. I don't remember. Um, I was talking with him about it and, and he didn't indicate anything other than it could be used for, um, for paving. Again, because you can't make something handicap accessible without 
pavement. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, but there's no. I don't. Hundred. What'd you say that grant's good for? <laughs> you mean dollars? <laughs> yeah, because if you're talking about paving from the road and paving all the way down to that parking lot, a hundred grand ain't covering that. It's not. Oh no. What's it going to be? I thought Keith put a price tag of seventy-five on it. That would be. That was COVID. probably yeah with hard packing <laughs> that just fixing the thing. I don't know. Oh. I don't. I don't think a hundred grand would cover. Because the thing is, you can't just pave over what's there. You gotta. That's gotta come out. You gotta put a base down first. Yeah, you know I mean, you gotta dig that out, bring gravel or hard pack in to make a parking lot, then pave it. Right, and if my thirty foot driveway is gonna cost ten thousand dollars, <laughs> yeah, I can see. Like we were talking when we were talking with that guy at the Watchma call it. I mean, I don't. You could probably leave the bat and cage there, but to the right between the bat and cage and the left field fence of the small diamond, you could push, is what I was saying, you could push three of those barriers in a little more and make and pave a little spot there to make, I don't know what they would require, what, two or three maybe handicapped spots? Oh, I think probably more than that because if you if you think about the old town hall, was yeah. I think three just for 22 spaces. It's a ratio. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah, I mean, I can see you're going to have to pave where the handicap spots are and just pave from there to the pavilion. I mean, the rest of the part is going to fix, but fix it with hard pack or that. Well, why? Okay. But I guess I'm that just. Isn't it pavement? Pavement would be easier to maintain, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, definitely. It's, but it's, it's <laughs> well, more because, costly. Because there's a, I, I guess my point is, is that there's a match, and Keith's guys are going to have to do a lot of the labor anyway. It's just the right. materials. Yeah. Besides it, the pavement, I mean, they can't pave, but. But they can do the prep work, right? Yeah, they we could, yeah they could dig it out and then make the base for the paver to come through. Yeah. 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 And yeah. that, you know, it, and so, you know, if we need to apply for a buck 25, then we apply for a buck 25. Yeah. But I just think the handicap accessibility is. a. I think it needs to be. Yeah. Right. And I, I don't want to call it a sexy idea, but it's <laughs> kind of a hot <laughs> priority. I mean, the state's going to pay attention. Right. And that's a big, that's a big dollar amount to, for a little town to, to do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, to, to do that parking lot and then make that that at least that one bathroom, if not the back bathroom in the kitchen ADA compliant, it's going to be expensive. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll price it out. And um, but that'll be the recommendation to, to, to move forward with. Um, OK, the next thing that I want to talk about is let me find the agenda here uh what happened the other grant no um sticking with the hurley heath theme for a second and you guys are gonna have to help me with the last name and i know it but i forgot it there's about three thousand dollars sitting in a gift account that was left by george king Kane. Um, Number one is I talked to her the other day. She does want a scoreboard because he was very involved in baseball and she right. wants something that says his name. She doesn't care if all that is used on it because she she thought there was about a thousand dollars. Oh, I think and, there's about three thousand dollars. And I said, well, the scoreboard can be done because you don't need to use it all. And is there anything else you would like? She says, well, as long as it's something to do with, because my kids had Mr. Kane and that's what he always dealt with. So what would have, what would you, how you got, and again, I don't know the price tag on on these things, but what if we could figure out a way to put 
and I don't know how big it would have to be to, to make it visible, but you put a, a scoreboard in between the two diamonds yes. on the outfield fence on the small diamond, sort of prop like, it up. Yeah, just another one on one of the side fences on the softball field, and then another one on a side fence of the soccer or baseball field. That you that would be visible, and again, I'm just I'm just thinking out loud. It just it it may not from a from from a distance perspective work, but they don't have to be. A, it doesn't have to be a huge scoreboard. But could you put a scoreboard so that each field had access to a scoreboard, even when stuff was going on simultaneous? Yeah, the two lower ones. Yeah, I mean you can do the softball too, but I. I mean, knowing her that she wants the baseball done first, so. Okay, that's, that's fine. We that's can prioritize. If you, the, if you get the, whatchamacallit, the, the ones you hang the numbers on, them yeah. things aren't that expensive. Yeah, but, but you got to find people to actually do that, though. Well, well, oh, there has that's to where be the some little kids, kids used to yeah. have. <laughs> there has to be some kid <laughs> that will get but, up, and we went to a bas baseball tournament. I mean, honestly, for... I think the little diamond, if we could get a digital one. Yes, because then you don't have to worry about it. What about I mean, I think. What about the I think the, Huh? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I think the softball and the bigger field, you know, I mean, they'll find somebody okay. to, because I don't think the coaches are going to want to run a scoreboard. No. You know what I mean? One, they'll find some young kid or something to go run over there and hang a number off of it. Softball just, have a girl that isn't doing anything at every inning. And same with the older people for- Yeah, it'd be nice baseball. to go digital on them all. Uh, Cause I see, you know, we've all played baseball at the Sunderland baseball, the little diamond. And that scoreboard just sits there. Yeah. It, it, it's just never used because, it, and, it, and then it starts to look like crap. Right. So I'm just wondering whether we could at least price out, make the little diamond the priority, Right. And it doesn't have to be huge, but it has to be big enough so that people can see, all right, it's five to three in the fourth inning, right. you know, whatever it is. It, you know, I don't think we need balls and strikes. No, I no. think just the, just the innings with the, the home runs. and the away yeah. and then a final score. Yeah. Right. And if you could do that on the little diamond, if you could do that on the big diamond that could serve also as a soccer Again, the soccer field's a long, that's a long way. Yeah. From where you play soccer to the fence. Hi there. How are you? <laughs> oh, Luke. <laughs> um, it, it's a it's a long way from the soccer field to the fence on the third base side of the big diamond. Yeah. But if you could put a, 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 a and protect it from, you know, flying baseballs from, players from rotten kids and that's the other thing you got to figure out how to protect it from rotten kids yeah well you gotta get it up high enough. well that means that it's got to go on the um backstop it can't go on the on on the on the fence on the on the sidelines because those things are five feet high yeah Six well the other thing is in ways we worth... don't have rotten kids yeah <laughs> right yeah right um <laughs> What about down the first baseline, beyond the bleachers? On the little diamond, you mean? Yeah. No, yeah that's I mean, going to sit on poles. I was just thinking if you could put it on, a, on, on an existing fence, it yeah. saves money. Yeah, but no poles, fence. poles ain't that expensive. There's no fence. Yeah, I mean, because, well, the other thing I'm thinking, you put it in center field, I don't think you're going to see it. No? Okay. You know, I mean, that sun's always setting on that west side going out towards the yeah. outfield. Yeah. What is everybody? What are other thoughts that from from you guys? I don't want the three of us to dominate the conversation. No, that's that's where John is. But I think this. I don't know if you'll see a digital one with the sun shining on it. Maybe. Jake, Justin, Shelley. I would put it. I would put it on a poll. I mean, personally, I don't think. I mean, I wouldn't mind mixing up a couple bags of concrete. You know, and uh, throwing a couple of bolts in there. I mean, I, I don't think it's that big. I, I honestly feel like, you know, if you're going to do it, the, uh, do it right, you know. 
Um, how, how high would it have to be? What's the what's the length? What's the height of the pole that you guys think? Because that, that's not this is not my strength. Knowing how high dimensions. You know. poles, poles we could get for now. I know I can get a couple of telephone poles. I mean, we don't need to go that high. We just, you know what I mean? We yeah. can put telephone poles in the ground, and I know we can get them from the electric company or that for a couple of them for nothing. They won't rot. Telephone poles? Yeah. We won't be around by the time they we do. We won't be around because they just <laughs> dug mine up today, and my pole has been there over 50 years. So who cares about what happens after 50 years? Even little Luke will be gone. So, All right. Well, if, 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 if we could do the labor and you could get the poles, again... You got to worry about what the what, and again, I, I I admit it. I worry about the aesthetics of a, a digital scoreboard sitting on aluminum poles. I mean, not sitting on wooden poles. It, it's going to look funny, isn't it? It might. The other thing we do, we still have. Uh, is there two more or four more? All the backstop poles that we took down from the blue school. Oh, you still have those? Yeah, they're all in it. We put them all in that shed down there. We Those use 10 feet. Yeah, you know, 10. Yeah, you know, they're more than 10 feet, I think. Above we use, ground. Yeah, above ground. Yeah. Right. I'm, yeah, there's got to be, because we use two of them only for the outfield corners of the softball diamond. The other ones are all still in the building. And we'd have to run power. Which I think, it's behind. I can ask Nate, is probably enough power from what runs behind home plate? Yeah, I'm just saying you'd have to trench it. Yeah, that's not. We can do that easy enough. Other thoughts from people? Jake? I'm good. It all sounds good to me. Shelly? Yeah, I think a scoreboard is definitely necessary because I'm so sick of Wayne. Every time I ask him what the score is, he says one nothing. I need a scoreboard. Whether it's one nothing or not. That's his yeah. We're always <laughs> losing one nothing. <laughs> um, well, can can I convince you guys to we price these things out and then we prioritize the little diamond, then the big diamond, and then the softball field if there's money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does okay. that make sense? Yes. But we don't do it on the cheap. No. No. How much is a pole going to cost if we don't have extra sitting around? Poles. I don't yeah. think that much for galvanized poles like that. Yeah, for, uh, we're will they be a hundred bucks a piece? Maybe somebody will donate with, them. With metal pricing these days, they will be. Yeah. Maybe uh, what's my call it? I don't know. Maybe ask Berkshire Gas. See if they'll donate some gas pipe. Yeah, there you go. Is hollow pipe strong enough? Oh yeah. Yeah, they'll all be of... hollow pipe. They're all yeah. hollow. Yeah. Okay. Um so we'll price the scoreboards out. How, how big do you guys think the scoreboard needs to be in terms of width and height? No, we're going to be a little bigger than that. A little Three bigger than a sheet of plywood. Probably 12 feet across. Well, that I, big? Was I was thinking more big. five by 12 or six by yeah. 12. Oh, wow. I was thinking like four by seven, four by eight. But if you guys think... Well, I was thinking for the small guy to go nice. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. That'll I mean, be, that'll exhaust that money then. Because I, oh, I, yeah. I think you'll end up I think you'll end up get with that money, you'll probably be able to get the little diamond. So yeah, and I'll see what the dimensions are as advertised, you know, at one of these companies. But so five by twelve. I don't okay, that's fine. I mean, I'm just thinking. You know what I mean? A sheet of plywood that's four by eight, if you're out towards the outfield fence, you know I mean? You're 200 feet away. Is it going to be big enough numbers? See, I'm not thinking that it's going to be that far out now. I'm thinking that on the small diamond, it's going to be, as you were saying, kind of right behind the, the, the stands. Yeah, somewhere right there. Yeah, so you won't be as far away no more. Right. Right, and we don't want it too high because the, the people sitting on those stands won't be able to see the stupid. And people will sit there, too. They bring their 
their stadium chairs. Yeah. Um, but that's what we're trying to get away from because a lot of the kids don't like parents or nobody behind when they pitch in your no, nobody you know that's one thing everybody is good about that nobody sits behind no, well remember we talked about putting I, I wanted to put a big yeah. advertising mesh yeah. thing yeah. so you would see the, the the logo of the company and make it like you know, I don't know what the size of the backstop is, but cover the backstop so you couldn't sit behind it because right. it's blocked by this mesh advertisement with, you know, in Hadley, it's, I think, Dylan Chevrolet or something. Yeah. You but you asked people through. and they actually did not sit behind there. They yeah, I mean, nobody even had to say nothing. They just, yeah, no, I'm, we're talking about down the first base foul, foul line anyway. Yeah. Um. Okay then we'll price those out and, and that's what we'll use it. And the money will go for as long as the money goes. Uh, and if there's a little extra that we want to do something more, we can always talk about the revolving fund because the revolving fund probably has $14,000 in it right now. Um, hey, Amy, is she still yeah, there? Well, Jake? She yeah, is well, putting Levi to bed. Oh, um, I can relay though. She's right in the other room. Can you ask her if the money from advertising has come in yet this year? Yep, hold on. Thanks. Yeah, so the revolving fund has fourteen. Um, yeah, but how much? How much is going to be left after we do? We still plan on redoing the big diamond. Yeah, that's going to cost like six thousand dollars, I think. But I don't know whether that whether front. I don't think we build frontier for the use of Hurley he this past year during COVID. Hi, Amy. Hi. Did. Did we get advertising banner money this year? Yes. You think it's all been paid in? Yes. Well, I think there's maybe two that are still outstanding, but they are always outstanding. Which um, ones are they? Do you know off the top of your head? I think T Guys usually doesn't. And um, I think at, um, Allstate. Oh, yeah. Allstate I'm doesn't. Not sure. I wouldn't even put that up anymore. Um, yeah. And hey, it's um, not a banner. just to put this out there, too, that all FY21 invoices need to be in soon so if you have any invoices hanging around they got to come to the offices to get submitted because the yeah. books will close yeah i don't i don't think that's going to happen for we haven't had that much stuff I, you know champion lawn care is the only one that is out there um and we've we've done all the 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 um custodial stuff already for is, is up to date and revolving, it doesn't matter. So, so, so advertising money is in for the most part. Did we ever build Frontier this year or we did not build Frontier? So that contract is on a yearly basis that they pay the $3,000? Yeah. I honestly don't remember the last time we received payment from them. Okay. Well, we got to But I can, I can look into that. Yeah, can you can you sniff around there? Because I mean, we just put in a really nice softball field, mm -hmm. and you know, you know the the flip side of that is is that Deerfield's putting in new new fields. I don't know if their bond issue passed to 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 develop the field space around around Frontier, um, but again, fields are so. In, in such high demand by all the frontier teams that um, just find out when the last time we got that was, and then we can evaluate. Um, yeah. The, to Wayne's point, reskinning, we're putting new, new uh, mix down on the big diamond. That's going to be probably a five to $6,000 bill. And the big diamond really needs it because it's not a, in good shape right now. Um, the okay. Frontier is the one that basically uses that. Yes, right? but it's our field. They it's rent our field, though. We got to maintain it. But if they haven't paid for a few years, well, I'm yeah, sorry. but they're not the only ones, right? The adult team, the adult leagues use it, and we get revenue from that. And yeah, they it, pay, right? They pay you. Oh, they. We haven't gotten any revenue from the adult leagues yet this year, have we? Though. Yeah, they typically will wait until they know how many days were rained out. So they know exactly what's being, and I like that better than having, you know, Amy or whomever write a check back. We don't want to give money back. Yeah. 
I'd rather know exactly how many. Oh, I under, that's fine. I just yeah. say they usually yeah. do pay them. They, they pay. You're not chasing them. Right. Like Frontier, you seem to be chasing them. I, We've always chased Frontier, even when Patty was on. It seems we always had to chase Frontier. Yeah. I, I think that I think that Darius will get it. I, I know that Carl Sear will get it. Whether Carl has that authority, I don't know. Um, but I know that the fields are nicer than the soccer field at Sunderland, which is awful, which is a dirt field. Um, so, all right. Um, so we've got that done. Um, Shelly, are you still there? Shelly. <laughs> Left. I'm trying to remember where we left off with the uh, scoreboard at the elementary school. Scoreboard? The, the, the protecting it with a cage and, oh, and oh, naming oh, it? Oh. it got, no, it was done. It was done. What? The you know, I don't went, know what you're talking in, about. In the, in the gym, yeah. they supposedly did it. I got this no. email they were doing it. What did they protect it with? I don't know. Not, no, they not approved sure. it. Wait. Sorry, I was trying to multi dinner. They approved it. Basically, the the Waitley Elementary School Board and Darius Modesto voted on it, and they said that it's good to go. Right. So that was the last correspondence that. But is there board. anything around the? No. I mean, you can't get yeah, to the. No, they just approved the fact that we could go forward. Right. So we've got to. We, so our next steps are. I think we decided on. Didn't we decide on plexiglass? to cover the scoreboard. But the thing is right now, that's gonna be- You either, can't, you can't either, get into the school. Yes, we can. They won't know. You're not supposed to go to the school yet to do anything. Well, they have that's workers though. Yeah, they have I workers though. But it's either gonna be very expensive right now and if you can find it, right? What, Probably, plexi Jay? Oh, because it's plexiglass. Yeah. Because it's in but we could probably go ahead with the plaque and maybe using the company at a Hoyoke that generally does our trophies. We could at least maybe get the plaque yeah. momentum going and then figure out how to protect down the line. Yeah. That's just right. And we can use the money that the Gary Lawrence gift account had when after he passed away. Can you price that out, Shelly, the plaque? I can. Wayne, do you have a, can you suggest dimensions on the plaque? I can get the verbiage. I just, I'm really bad with visual, so a decent size. I thought we had, had discussed the dimensions. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, to make it big enough to see from the bleachers, the thing's going to have to be half the size of the scoreboard. Yeah, I mean, and to me, that looked I don't know what's the word. Yeah. It, it may be it may be two it may be two thirds of that to make it proportionally look good. Yeah. Because I measured what did I measure the score? But what I thought you uh, yeah I thought you measured that. I did. Maybe I put it in a. But a plaque for somebody's name it doesn't have to be huge. Look at the one that's for the library. Or for the gym. I mean, it's not huge. It's this little plaque that says somebody's name. Yes. Um, I don't see. The gyms is over. There. Oh, you would recommend, hey, Wayne, you would recommend your three to four feet and one foot wide. That seems small though. No, that'd no. be no. a foot Fe wide and three, four feet long. That's a that's, that's a pretty a, big plaque. plaque. And would you put it right underneath the scoreboard? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking underneath yeah. the scoreboard. Because you can't go too big because there's, I don't remember how much room between the scoreboard and the padding. I think there's maybe five feet. Is that feet, all? Five feet. Yeah, there's not. I mean, it seems like there's a huge amount, but I don't. I think it's only like five feet. Well, who wants to go over there and resize the scoreboard and then proportion down? I I would say two thirds to three quarters of it and center it. 
And then if, if someone can, can, can get those measurements to Shelly, Shelly can then price out the plaque. Yeah. We're right next door. If we, we can, Josh and I can do that. I just need the code to the school. So I don't know if I need clearance on that from somebody. There's no code no more. There's no more code. Yeah, I would, I would contact Chrissy. Yeah, it's, uh, whatchamacallit, they use fobs. Oh, the key, key fobs or something? Yeah. Oh, right, they have key fobs now. Um, I would, Shelly, I would just get in touch with, with, with Chrissy and say, Chrissy, can I, when are you going to be in the school so I can, you, you might have to. Or call Mary. Mary's always well, there. Well, either that or I can give you a Dan's number, the janitor's number. And have him measure it for you. Can, can you send Dan's number to Josh, please, Wayne? Yep. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. And then you'll price that out and then. Yep. Um, and then we'll be good. And, and, and that pricing has to include what would, 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 would Dan be able to hang it? I can, hang, I can get Eddie Melanosky to hang it, to drill the holes in the block. Okay. So <laughs> right, he so loves that. He's a mason. <laughs> So it doesn't come crashing down. Right. Yeah. Of a basketball game, which would be unfortunate. Um, <laughs> I won't hit a kid. So. <laughs> All right. So that's good. Um, where were we, Shelly? I'm going to pick on you again because I don't remember. Where were we on? We were going to ask the CPC to <coughs> – to maybe finance a new playground at the elementary school or at least add older kid stuff to do yep. at that playground. Um, I, I know we'd also talked about moving dirt at the playground to make yeah, that field more usable. Yeah, kind of fixing up that little field for the T-ballers. Yeah, well, I would go to the, I would go to the road, wouldn't you, Wayne? With all the way, yeah. I mean, just be, you're you're not bringing I mean, you it. You're just you can't mess with you can't mess with that swale. Oh, you need the swale there. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It's that swale drains a lot of the water from the north. Yeah. So so you know, I, <laughs> I got to price out, but but yeah, let's. Let's price out playground equipment for older kids. I looked at some. I asked some of the kids. They came up with a few ideas. Oh, okay. Do you want to share that? You want to one send was a, one up? was a, a new basketball court. Well, you know, that's, that's not a playground. That's a playground. What do kids play? This this. I hope there's never COVID oh again. God. But they only could play basketball. And they could only do when a you few go things. to play on a playground, oh you don't God. go play on a basketball court. I know I was getting to the next. Yes, you do. Excuse me. A lot what, of what, what's what's next on the list? The next <laughs> thing on the list was those like um, they're like miniature trampolines, but they're the, the, to the ground. I doubt they'll let to you, the ground. I don't know if the insurance will let you get that. They're all, they're not really high. They're they set right on the ground. They don't, they don't stand up. They set right, you're, you're actually bouncing on the ground. And then right. there was a couple of things with tire tube things. And um, the swings are fine. The playground basically is fine. There's nothing right. wrong with the main playground. No, no what? It's, but it's, it's built for a, seven, a six and seven year old instead of a, a 10, 11 and 12 year old. And the older kids, the, um, it's hard because that's what they want is something like that. It, it might be worth getting a hold of the company they bought that from. Not in business no more. I already went to that. Not in business. Because the that guy that we met down with, Hurley, he, he says they do the same thing. Instead of getting rid of the structure that's there, a lot of towns will keep that structure. They'll just renovate that structure with different stuff. stuff. Yeah. That's why the tire swings and yeah. there's these bouncy. You ain't got enough room. Well, we need someone to champion the, the, the whole 
but the but company's we, we out of business. Of, of that whole, you know, both the diamond where they play kickball and where T-ball could, could theoretically use um, and, and, and the, and the, and the playground, you know, I, is, is the basketball court in bad shape or do we just need new no. nets? Probably just new nets. nets maybe new, maybe new, new rims too. I don't know. Yeah, the whole new the iron the the What's rim wrong with thing. The, the rim things go oh, look. There ain't nothing there. You, it needs nets and rims and maybe rims. The rims have been there a long time, Wayne. They were there moved when the school was built. The old school's been there a long. Time. So who wants to champion this? <laughs> The T-ball coach. <laughs> Jake and Amy, do you guys want to do this or no? You did. I thought the T-ballers had a great season and there's no complaints there. <laughs> so if uh, if you need me to take charge of some of this, just let me know what exactly you're looking for and, and we can get some pricing. And, Maybe uh, that guy, that same guy, Amy. I'm sorry. The playground guy from last week that you oh, waited. And what are we doing with him? I, I don't know. See what he thinks. Now we're looking to get stuff mentioned. for bigger kids, right? Yeah. And, we're, and the money's coming from a different grant? Yeah. Well, I was thinking, we were thinking CPC money. CPC. Okay. Okay. Um, and and who, then, is, who is the playground guy? Oh, his name was Colin. He was from M.E. O'Brien from um, Medway, Mass. He was listed on the um, the state's list, the, the state contract list for someone we could use for the grant for Hurley. Um, so we had him come out last week and give us some ideas for playscapes. For Hurley or for Whaley Elementary? That was for Hurley. Okay. I, Wayne, did he end up going to Whaley Elementary or no? Yeah, we took him over there to show him that one thing there that thing kids like to play on. All right. Well, that would be helpful then because then he at least saw the school and saw that playground. And it was M.E. O'Brien, you said? Yeah, I think it was yeah M.E. O'Brien in uh, Medway, Mass. So I can't... what we would be looking for is a pricing of playground equipment for older kids. And, and I guess that Carol has done some it's, legwork in terms of the different types of equipment that the older kids are, are interested in. It, we would want to run that. Like, for older kids, no. it's really limited. It, right. it oh, really that was the whole concept around this. But we would want to run the list by Chrissy. Kurt. And the big thing is, well, from what I got from that guy when we were down at Hurley, he is – Get, you give him a price. You know what I mean? If if your budget's you. fifty grand, he's gonna tell you what you can get for fifty grand. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's the same. I mean, thing a big the thing. One did. That's the same thing. The one that we got the playground. Yeah, you know I mean, he'll the, send like he'd send a book, and you can pick out stuff if you yeah. want to, and then he can tell you how much it is or. You can just tell him, okay, we got a budget of twenty thousand dollars, and he'll send you a drawing of a play structure. So, how does that work, John? If it's going to go through the CPC, does something need to be submitted on how much money is being asked for? It, it would be an application with a, some narrative around what we're doing, and then a budget. Wiggle so, room on the budget. What's that? Wiggle room on the budget. Yeah, cool. it's up to us, and then and then and then they'll they'll tell you no, we can't afford. If it, you know, if we ask for, you know, let's not ask for a hundred thousand dollars. If we were to ask for fifty, they might come back. I don't know. They might come back and say, well, you know, we can really only afford forty. And then we would just we would just ratchet down the budget. Okay, so again, as far as Chrissy and Darius is concerned, they pretty much said run with it. They think that it's a great idea. They just don't necessarily want to be involved with the details. No, and that's fine. But I do think that using Carol's trampoline idea, I think they need to be comfortable with that kind of a piece of equipment. Um, so that because it's their teachers that are going to be yeah. out there. You know, again, if it's up to me, you put a kid on the trampoline, if they break their arm, well, then, you know, I, I, I won't do that again. 
Um, you you got to hurt yourself once in a while to really grow up. But you know, who's that's just, me. Who's putting up the new playground that's costing them two hundred thousand dollars and they're not getting much? Is it Sunderland? I want yes, to put you. Sunderland. It's, Wayne, this stuff is under, more money no, than you think. It's not the playground. It's what's underneath the playground. We never even the bark mulch. That in. The bark mulch, which I guess. Amy was down there too. It's maybe five bucks a square foot for that bark mulch. Yeah. And it does meet ADA compliance in certain areas. Yeah. To put that rubberized stuff down that is ADA compliant is like, I think the guy said like 75 bucks a square foot. That's where they get expensive. But when we put that playground <laughs> down there, we never even thought of any of that. The, Put the stuff down or do that. Yeah, the, the Lions Club paid for it, as I recall. No, the, the playground, the playground, the Lions Club was out. I was on that committee with Christine Belder, and thanks to the Turtle Man, that's basically who put that whole playground up because he donated over fifty yeah. thousand dollars. And we made the Lions Club was involved at some level, but yes, yeah. but they did not give us much because they were almost done and out of thing. Right. Um, it costs like 70 some odd thousand dollars to put that little playground, not including the Gaga balls and not including the swings and that basic, the thing that sits in the middle. All right, well, um, Jake and Shelly, can you guys work together or Jake? I, 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 we just need someone to price out what is necessary and bring that guy back to tell us what, what we need for infrastructure underneath the additional equipment that we put in. Um, yeah, I can do some legwork on that. And then the other thing too, just as far as getting that, um, the diamonds in in better shape, um, I think we were gonna reach out to, to Bill Hildreth and, and bring Bill in, into the mix. I don't know if that that happened, but I do, I, I do know that Bill's got a lot of thing on his plate right now with, yeah, going on at fr at Frontier, um, but yeah, I can I can definitely do some legwork on on the playground for sure. Okay, I I, I think the yeah, and, and we want to include Billy just because it's it's the right thing to do. I mean, it's you know he has to be responsible for this stuff. Um, but I think that the 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 baseball kickball field that would be a secondary thing if okay. if we weren't breaking the bank with you know because CPC doesn't have an unlimited amount of money. Okay. Um, okay. And then work with Jake, you know, bring Jake in and, and Amy and you guys can figure it out. But I do think that Chrissy's going to want to see the equipment to say, yeah, that equipment looks, they got to be comfortable with the equipment. You know, I've heard rumors that they don't even allow kids to hang up and up, hang upside down on the jungle gym anymore, which to me is It'll let kids do a lot of things. And oh, wow. there's, even on the rock wall, there were age yeah. requirements where if they weren't and the rock wall is tiny, if they weren't, you know, a, a fourth or fifth grader, they couldn't use the rock wall, which, you know, you got to grow up sometime, but that's me. 100%. Um, okay. What else do you guys want to talk about? We've gone an hour and eight minutes. Justin, we haven't uh, heard much from you. Do you want to talk about anything? Hi, Justin. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Yeah, no. Um, no, I mean, um, you know, I like all the ideas of scoreboard stuff. I mean, if you guys need help with anything, I'm, you know, I mean, obviously uh, still tied up a little bit, but I, I'll, I'll be more than happy to help out on any of this stuff. So, um, yeah, just let me know. Um, I, I was researching the poll. Um, it looks like for a pretty good poll that can sustain good wind speeds, it's about $750 or so. Um that would be like a steel pole that you can mount to a piece of cement in the ground um, for a scoreboard. So I don't know. Uh, that thing goes up like 16 feet, it says total. So I don't know. Um, some ideas. I also, I need to probably make my way down early because I, I, there were some signs that I hung up, uh, I think, two years ago that aren't that we haven't put up yet. Um, and I don't know if we build those companies Um for advertising but i think it was uh it's an insurance company i forget what they're called but um 
they uh they i put like a uh, sign on the side of the barn there and they, i didn't see it up this year so i just was gonna see maybe scoot down there and probably put that up at some point but yeah don't, don't go there um that gentleman the one i think his name was john from river valley insurance yeah. i sent them yeah. an invoice for the banner and he I'm not, he was not happy um, with, I think, either where it was placed or, you know, he didn't think that it was visible enough. And I, I think I, I sent it off to Chris Williams at that time. And I said, you know, how do you want to handle something like this? Like, do you want to meet him down there? Um, I don't know how it ended. I know I we never received payment. Um, okay. He, I think they were actually going to take the banner back. Um so I, we okay. might need to clarify that with Chris at the next meeting, but um, I just don't go there yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. No, I just didn't see it down there. So I was, um, they actually, they were the ones that said that they wanted the banner there. So I, I said, where do you guys want the banner? They said on the side of the barn and I put it there. So um, <laughs> it's kind of odd that they're coming back and saying they don't want the banner right now. Um, but uh anyway yeah no i mean if you want me to reach back out to that lady too i can do that follow up with her um but yeah that um but yeah everything else sounds good um like i said if you guys need help with some stuff i'd be more than happy to just jump in wherever why don't if, if does anybody know anybody at columbia gas or berkshire gas what's a guy in a red shirt <laughs> <laughs> I was oh hey. yes. I mean you people that said. live on hey. my street that work for Columbia. I know yeah, a couple guys I, there. We you have a resource connection. If, if they would have some piping. Yeah, Wayne, I, I assume we need to go four inch, that two inch probably wouldn't have the wall thickness. Yeah, but gas pipes. Well the dumb pins, yeah. I mean, four inches definitely, you know, is going to hold it. I think a two inch gas pipe would probably be enough, but four inch yeah. would definitely. Mm -hmm. I'll see if we can get a donation or what it would take. How's that? You know, if if possible, ask for because because Wayne, that the, the the backstop piping that we still have is in pretty good shape, right? Mm -hmm. So if if we were to go to the 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 Berkshire gas thing would be if we were to go to a second. Um, if well, we the four inch, scoreboard, yeah, the four inch pipe. I think you could single mount it, just a single pipe. You wouldn't need two, right? But I'm, what I'm saying is, if we already have piping from the old backstop that we could use for a scoreboard, yeah, if that's strong enough, we wouldn't need this donation until we knew that we were going to put a second scoreboard up somewhere else at Hurley. He to be used by another game or another team that, that was running, you know, at some point. Right. So, you know, Jake, ask if you can ask what the possibilities are, then that would factor into what, what we can afford to do and what we can't afford to do. Okay. I'll, so I'm in charge of, I'm looking for a gas pipe and I'm assessing the backboard rim net situation. And then Shelly right. and I are going to hook up with a couple other things, playground related. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Anything else, you guys? We've gone. This is one yeah. of the longest rep committee meetings we've had in like five years. One, one more quick thing. Equipment. What are we going to do with it? The baseball stuff. Stored in the, in the shed? Not in the barn, but in the shed. In the shed? You don't think the mice will still get or should we see if go put some mic traps? You see, uh, can you what's, what's wrong with the town I mean, offices? There's just plenty of you're, the town. There's room selectman. at the town offices because I have yeah, the was in the, it was in that back room this year at the town <laughs> office. Why? Well, at some I mean, I don't mind putting it there, but at some point, though, you know, that that building was purchased so that we maximize the, the use of that space and that it doesn't just use get used for storage. Right. Um, but for the time being, you know, you right. know work we'll with Amy. It down. Yeah, well, I'll throw it down inside the, whatchamacallit. Right, but but they're really, and it's something we haven't done a good job of. Um, and, oh, and you know the difference, and there's a, it's clearly delineated between 
wreck stuff and Ripken stuff, right, Wayne? Yeah, it's down there. Right. Wreck so, Ripken. so we need to do an inventory of what we've got of baseball stuff. I don't think that exists unless you guys have done it recently. No. So I think when it's stored there, there should be an inventory of, you know, five bats, two helmets, whatever it is, so that we know what we've got. And then when it comes to be baseball season next year or in the winter, we can say, okay, what do we need to buy so that we're not scrambling and buying equipment halfway through the baseball season so that we've got a plan? You could, I mean, you could store it in the barn, um, but I, I would probably, I mean, I would recommend you put it in some type of case because, I mean, when we went through and cleaned the barn, I mean, there was mice and everything there. And I mean, that's probably the worst thing I can think of is like handing a kid some town offices for now, but we need, we need an inventory of, of what's there. Mm. Cause they eat through the baseball bags and then you got to buy a new baseball bag every, every year. And those baseball bags are a couple hundred dollars. Good ones. Right? Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Stored in the, um, is baseball season over? Yes. Wait, the rec is. Yeah. That's too bad, but a, a lot of the kids are doing summer ball though. So there's more excitement than I've seen in for a while for ball. Good. good. I like it. Chris, Chris is, uh, Chris has done well. Okay, good. Okay. Everybody got their to-do list. All right. I will got try it. to make minutes. Up. I'll send them around and, uh, you guys can correct me cause I'm sure I missed stuff. Thanks John. Appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. Bye.